Cemetery Stories is a community storytelling event that takes place at historic Fairview Cemetery in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's a program partnership between the New Mexico Humanities Council and historic Fairview Cemetery. It's an opportunity for community members to immerse themselves in the grounds and explore Fairview. They have the opportunity to walk around the graves and visit notable gravesides of historic figures in New Mexico and Albuquerque's history. We have local historians and scholars and experts giving presentations on the personal lives of these historic figures. At the end of the evening, we have a story slam that takes place on the main stage. And the purpose of having a story slam in a cemetery is to unite the community around the universal experience of loss, grief, memorial, death and dying. We're presenting this program inside of a cemetery because we want to reinvigorate people's relationships to cemeteries and graveyards. Cemeteries originally were public parks and public spaces, and we want to reintroduce that social aspect of these public spaces to our community. This year's Cemetery Stories took place on November 11th, 2023, which was Veterans Day. At Fairview Cemetery, there are over 500 veterans from New Mexico and all around the country interred there. And we wanted to acknowledge Veterans Day by focusing our historic walking tour on notable military historical figures in New Mexico. We presented on James Santiago Hubble, the Rough Riders of New Mexico, and the Buffalo Soldiers of New Mexico. Hello, welcome. My name is David Ottaviano, and I work for Bernalillo County Open Space, and I work at the Gutierrez Hubble House, which is a historic house in the South Valley, which is the former home, historic uh, home of Santiago Hubble, who's buried behind me. Uh, Santiago Hubble, he was born James Lawrence Hubble, was a Connecticut Yankee and came out along the Santa Fe Trail in the 1840s. He served in the Mexican-American War and then later in the Civil War and was a really uh, fascinating figure. Hi, my name is Melanie Laborwit, a New Mexico historian, and I'm going to be talking today about the Rough Riders who fought with Teddy Roosevelt in the Spanish-American War in Cuba in 1898. Hello, I'm Dale Bowles with the Albuquerque Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club. I'm doing a talk today on Private Henry Winstead and Private Deland Woods Sr. Hi, my name is John Fletcher of the New Mexico Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club. I'll be speaking today on uh, Isaac Jackson and Samuel Scott, both uh, Buffalo Soldiers buried here at Fairview Cemetery. I pray for these lands, for the 11,000 martyrs and over a million displaced, for those in power to finally be convinced of others' humanity, for a free Palestine. I pray for the 5,000-year-old olive tree. I pray for indigenous peoples everywhere. I pray for sovereignty and interspecies collaboration, for elders and little elders. I pray and I pray, and I wish for the birds to carry these prayers. The cycle of war and violence must be broken, and people in the land need to be protected and prioritized over profit. May we discover the connection of grief and alchemy. May we reckon by looking into the eyes of the multi-headed beast that will come for all of us. Palestinian liberation is all of our liberation. From the river to the sea, thank you. Russ Moga, he was born in 1916 in White Bear Lake, Minnesota and he was very interested in all things mechanical anything that qualified as being a machine or was about power or was about speed of an engine he was in Lockheed can because of his patentable inventions convinced the Navy to allow him to work within his term of duty with the Navy and he didn't actually go overseas. He lived until he was 91, a long and interesting life. He resides now in Fort Snelling National Cemetery in Minneapolis, Minnesota, very proudly. And I know he was his own kind of hero. Thank you. With me. I'm going to share a story with you that transitions from past to present. That moment that Mercedes accepted and invited him to dance changed his whole life forever. And that night, alone in the trench, 
he knew that he had been born among other things. So that Mercedes will tell him that, yes, those rifles could be the end of the world. But they won't, mi amor, they won't. Because one day, when you had just turned 15, you stretch your arm, pick up a carnation and gave it to me. Don't let a bomb damage the carnation on the tray in a desert full of people. This was a story written by Valentino, Esteban Valentino, and I wanted to share it with you. And it refers to the Malvinas, because I think they are the Malvinas were, or the Falkland Islands back in 1982 when they were fought. We're all still here above ground with beating hearts, and I hope you're all feeling warm-hearted towards yourself and each other. You can't come into a cemetery without thinking about death and life. So uh, we're honoring all of us here, those departed and all of us still here. Thanks for being here today. We all stand here right now at the very place where everybody and everything that has ever happened before meets everybody and everything that is yet to happen.